Hello, everyone. Welcome to my class again. Um, let me adjust angle a little bit. Okay, perfect. Um, uh, today is Sunday, and uh, it's the third class of uh, advanced Chinese brush painting. Um, and we have, uh, we still have. Uh, um, three left uh, three subject last left and i already put um another i already put the uh, pre-will subject uh in my channel so you will have uh, an, an idea what the left three class is about um uh, last week i been told you i've been um, told uh, I've been teaching um, how to draw pony flower, but unfortunately, the sound it, it wasn't picked picked up. Um, I had a little bit uh, internet problem, so this week it seems um, everything back to normal. And uh, after this class uh, today, we are going to draw mantis. After this mentors class, I'm going to uh, do some uh, um, pony flower lessons and it's uh, pre-recorded. So it will have a better um, sound and image quality. And I will upload, I will upload it, upload it probably uh, tomorrow to make it up for the next week, uh, last week. Um, so, um, because um, mantis, mantis is quite a small the uh, object, and uh, uh, so I'm going to later. I'm going to uh, put this camera um, face uh, facing on my paper um, close, so you can have a better look. Um, mm. All right, let's start. Let's start to put in here I'm start going to start here so okay and uh, I'm going to set the timer which is I always like to do so I won't uh, over time and uh, before I start, I want to look, is there any question showed up? If not, um, if not, that's just uh, start today's subject. Um, of course, you can always um, leave me a message about uh, um, some details you didn't understand and it won't and do you want to understand better uh, all right uh, as you uh, I'd like to introduce the um, construction or autonomy autonomy of uh, the object I like to I'm going to draw but um, it won't be uh, like biology uh, as you it won't be like biology class uh, there are some parts um, I won't go to that detail because you don't have to know there you don't have to know that um, we are art class All right, I'm going to, I choosing a small brush, like this brush, very small. It's usually for uh, liner and I got some ink. Um, Martis is, um, the head is, um, how to do this way? Okay. Uh, they have a head. It's like a triangle, okay? And uh, they have a big eye. 
sorry, too much water. They have big eye, and the mouth is here, and they usually have something like this, like their teeth chewing up stuff. Um, their real eye is not this big, but um, the reason I draw this big because this is um. <clears throat> This is a specialty of uh, animal. Like when you draw, no matter what animal you are drawing, especially in art, um, the specialty of this object you're drawing usually we uh, make it a little bit dramatic. Okay, so it's not that a uh, triangle in real life, but I like to draw a little bit triangle. And on the head, right beside the mouse here, they have a. Uh, like antenna, like um, antenna, like here. All right, not too long, but um, like this. And uh, uh, below this is uh, like their uh, neck and the body, like we see its back. The back is not like a straight line. It's like maybe like this and open up a little bit and uh, like this. Okay, it's not a one line. It's not a one line down. And later um, you will know this is very important. You don't draw just one line uh, down. Let me change the direction here a little bit. Mm -mm. How to make this work? I'm not sure. It seems like you won't be able to see the. All right. And the, um, below this is uh, is the body. Usually it's like, um, for example, this is one, then two, and three, about here to here. Okay. It's their their wing, they're close right now. This another one here and you won't able to see and they close. And uh, below that is their belly. You can't see anymore because um, the wing covered it. Mm like this direction. And here where the joint is, is their um, foreleg. It's kind of um, like we see is they holding a X like a knife right where the joints is. And there's a joint, okay? Here is a joint. It's not a round in real life, but I draw this way so you can um, pay attention about the part. And if this is one, and then this is one, so, so a little bit longer, one, one. And flat on top a little bit. And this is like curve a little bit. And here there's a joints too. Okay. Remember this part. So here and there there's uh, some parts like this, like their feet. Okay, here's the same thing. This is the foreleg. Now, this part is the middle leg. 
leg, middle leg is right. Uh, it's not in the. For example, if this is halfway, okay, this is halfway, and another like, um, one two three in the halfway here, one two three. So, um, one leg is, um, here. There's a one, and you can't see it anymore. It's under the belly. It's connect like joints connect the, uh, the belly. And then it's pretty thin. And one, two, it's about the same. Okay, one, two, and the, the feet like this. Okay, in here, actually, you can't see this anymore. And uh, same thing. One, a joints here, and uh, two. It's about the same length, and there's another one, like feet. And the other one is right in there here. There's one and two. There's a joint, and this is um, about the same. Same length. Here. Under the belly here, you can't really see it. There's a joint. Okay. So the point is, this is a square. Okay. The head, uh, no, the head is like a triangle. It's like this. Mm, there's two things like that. The eye here, and the point. If this is one. The lens, okay. This then it will be one, one, one. Okay, this will all together probably one. So one, one, one. Okay, one, one, one. So one, two, three. Remember this thing, and there's supposed to be three to one, two, three, and the feet. But this part usually is uh, um, uh, half of this lens. Is half of the distance. For example. One, one, and then this will be one. Usually, okay. This part and this part supposed to be equal. For example, this is A, this is B. Okay, A, B. It's about the same. Also the same here too. Um, here is this part. Right now you can't see this, but why I tell you this because later on when we draw different angle, this part might be show up. So you have to know there is a thing here. Okay, then they all the same. A, B, I'm talking about the lens, okay? Lens, A, B, and A, B, the same. And the feet there, uh, about, I would say, one third of this. One third of A or B, because A, B is the same. And the direction is have to be like, they are like a human, okay? They point that way. You can't go like, for example, this is knee. Okay, you point that way. It's don't get the direction wrong. Okay, some and some animal or ants, um, they draw the different direction. But remember this part. And uh, uh, about halfway here, the first, uh, the first leg. Halfway here, okay. And remember, there's a joints here. There's a joints here. Halfway. All right. Um. So this lens about if uh if this is uh one, so then one, two, three. About uh uh. This lens is about uh, uh, twice, a little bit more than twice than this part. All right. Um, this is the basic structure of mantis. And this is just one uh, direction. And I'm going to draw you another direction.
So I'm facing my camera to here so you can see I'm going to draw another another one here so the head and the eye mouth and uh, the neck here remember this is this part is bigger okay and this is another one this is the um, the thorax we usually say it's the back I'm drawing the top here and then uh, this part this part right this one and uh, it's about the same length they are the same length okay and uh, the sharper part This is one and the other side from here. Okay. And uh, this is all the top is finished and the wing here. Drain the draw the lens about one, two and a little bit longer this part. Okay, this is the wing and here is the belly here. Now you can see the belly a little bit. Because different mantis have a, a different shape, uh, you have to look on what kind of mantis you are going to draw. Some mantis is green color or brown color or some is the, uh, the belly is bigger, um, some is smaller and some even matters is shorter they have different size too so it depends this one is just uh, the typical one okay and uh, remember uh, this the uh, the hind leg leg there are two hind leg leg so about this part they come from here and there are two they are very too close together Okay, and uh, very thin. It's the leg here. Okay, one. You know what I think <laughs> I made a mistake I'm really sorry about that um, I was going to I'm thinking about this part actually this will be on the other side here I will make it up later I don't know what I'm thinking about so this part they are facing up uh, facing that direction and the back leg the back leg is I'm start memorizing. Um, the back. This is the antonomy. Um, the back leg is like this supposed to be. One. Usually they stand like this way. Oh yeah, this is makes sense now. And this is uh, the other side. They fold a little bit. Mm. the belly is like this 
and uh, the other side. And uh, on the foreleg, they have some sharp stuff. Um, right here. All right, so um, this one is a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm sorry about that. This is the uh, the front leg is for facing that, and uh, the back leg is facing out too and the knee pointing out but it will be um one feet one feet pointing out this one is pointing out um i'm a little bit forgot um the Mantis now. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, is there any comments here? Um, not really. So let's draw a colored one. You know, painting sometimes it's just a muscle memory, and uh, I paint sometimes just I paint without thinking. And uh, now I'm start thinking I, I forgot a little bit, like, um, how, how they look like. Okay. Uh, this is the structure we finished. Let's um, go to. Uh, Oh, I can't put it here. About here. Let's draw a Xie Yi style. Maybe I don't have to need, I don't really need uh, that camera. I don't really need it. But uh, I have it today. All right. Um, you know what? I need to have a look. For example, I want to show you. Let's search a mantis. Okay, how about this one? Let's look this one. You see, this is the real picture of mantis. Um, this is the head, like triangle. This two, this and like antenna. Actually, this is pretty long. I would say uh, the same length as the back. So later on, when I draw, actually I can make it longer. Now I start um, finding the problem. Oh, this is the joints part. It's okay, and that's right. And one, two, three, and uh, see one, two, three. And here, probably a little bit of joints here. There's joints here. And uh, the leg is, actually, there's a big leg here, like here. Like I said, beginning. One, two, three. One, two, three. OK? So in here, probably showing up a little bit. One, two, one two three okay and the back is one two three one two three one behind this you can't see it one two three okay one two three all right okay I want to draw one of this mantis. Mantis. If I put, I want to put an angle which is there is no reflection. Up in here. 
Okay, this is better. Let's draw a mantis. Just follow the picture. Maybe I will change the front leg a little bit, make it more interesting. I will draw here. Um, this is the head, okay? And uh, the eyes here, and uh, like the antenna thing. And uh, two parts, one, two okay and uh, the wing here okay and the uh, the front leg in the um, center uh, here in the center so uh, one okay two uh, see how I uh, move the brush I didn't like this one two there is not um, very nice even I do this you know the joints supposed to be a little bit thinner here you need to make a joints like, okay like this this is a really like a joints not like this like this okay so uh, one two three the third one is a little bit uh, shorter and uh, like this is the feet part okay and uh, And the back leg is pretty close to the one part, one part. It's pretty close to here, pretty close to here. Same thing, see? Right close, and it's not in the center, it's not in the belly there, it's definitely not. Um, but here I can add a little bit of belly here. So it's growed on top of the belly. Okay, this remember this time I remember this part right here. One, you just say one, two, three here. One, two, three. Pretty thin. Okay. Two. Three. And uh, the feet here. Okay, the other side, um, you can see a little bit. One, um, okay, two, three. Where the joint is, um, see like that. This is a joint. We don't really um, connect them together. This is the belly here. Another leg right here so this time remember pointing at point at the other direction okay one see one two three okay one two three you can make the back leg a little bit longer one fold a little bit two three Okay, this is the another antis. If you want a little bit more detail, you could add a little bit sharp stuff. You can see from here, okay? This part and this part, not this part. So obviously theirs don't have it. Only this pointing here and uh,
here I want to explain a little bit. You can draw like this one, two. But if you um, the pressure, right? Lateral pressure um, thinner, and it will go. More pressure is getting um, bigger. So how about this part? For example, lighter pressure, bigger pressure up, and the bigger pressure, lighter pressure. So this is um, better here. And about the um, the leg part, we can draw like this direction, this direction, and then um, pay attention about the joints part, right? See, um, you can draw like this way, Point, um, here, connect to the body, or you can draw the backwards, okay? It's like a leaf and the other parts, the joints here and here use the different pressure point probably better pointing that direction the sharp parts like this all right that's uh draw a colored one Putting the pad away. It's really helpful when I saw the picture, I start memorized what is mantis really look like. This is really helpful. So I'm going to draw here facing my cam. Where's my hand? I'm a little bit confused. Okay, they are at opposite direction. Okay, right here. Let's get some green color. This is the color I used last week. And now um, it's a little bit dry, but uh, it won't affect how we use it. Get some water and uh, just sweat it. It's just like a Western watercolor. You wet it, use the water, wet it. But um, it's better use it when it's fresh, but uh, because uh, when it's fresh, they have uh, more oh you and uh, it just work better but but uh, right now i'm showing to you to i i also use old ink and uh, it's can kind of useful but i that's that means is it's the best still can use it okay i'm going to put the color palette right here the actual paper towel. Let's draw a mantis. Here. Mm, the the head. I draw the line outline first and I color the um inside and uh, two big eyes. And I don't have to leave uh, um, empty. So eyes like left, right, two stroke. Okay, and uh, like 
the antenna I can make it a little bit longer this time and the, the back I use the two stroke like I say you can use one stroke like this or you can just uh, use two stroke like this I'm using two stroke and the back here another layer two stroke two two stroke one two and in the bottom is like one here is they have two layer this one on top on the other one the bottom the top one is like here just make a layer uh, just make the shape like this okay one stroke or two stroke doesn't really matter and I'm going to change a, a bigger brush and the same direction I'm going to draw the the belly part here okay and uh, one two and uh, the belly the belly I want a little bit of lighter color this lighter I mean lighter I mean add more yellowish here you can see the belly a little bit and now let's draw the leg in here right okay so one and uh, two joints okay and this time they fold three fold a little bit and this one you see one and uh, two i just feel like from the this direction is easier to control the lens but you can also from here from uh usually when we were drawing you should we go from left to right up to down but sometimes uh when you not very familiar with the object you are painting for example the mantis um i'm a little bit i'm sorry i'm really i'm a little bit forgot how the structure is so just for uh, easy to control the lens I'm not going to start with left and right, uh, from left to right. Uh, I'm going from right to left, so I know um, how how long it is, right? And uh, this one, I'm just uh, opened up, okay? And uh, this is the front part, and the back part is from here. Mm, one, and Again, if I go from the left to right, I don't know where to start because um, you know it's difficult to control the lens. So I want to from right to left, so probably a little bit longer than the front. If the front is this lens, I'm going to to here. Oh, there's another way is uh, you use the pencil. Use the pencil to start, so uh, it will be easier to um, control it later on. Okay. Okay, the other one is uh to here. Now this time I know um how long it is, how long it is because I already know here, so I draw it here. Then um I will draw from left to right is um when you go from left to right the the good part is you see you can control the pressure you can make the line more interesting like uh, it's thinner uh, on the outside the beginning and the end and it's, uh, it's wider on in the center here but if you use the you know like not very comfortable direction it's very draw the line like if you go here and more likely uh, first of all, it's, it's probably won't that straight and smooth. The other is 
you still can control like this way, like make it center wider. The other two is、uh, lighter, but、uh, it's more difficult, and this is more natural. I I would say it's it's better from left to right. So if you have a pencil and you draw the direction, the length already controlled for you, and、um, I I would really recommend from left to right up to bottom. This way, and the, your line will be more beautiful. For example, this line, I.、Mm, this is a little bit boring line, like it's a straight line. So um. This time I will I can make it more interesting. Right now I'm a little bit slow because、um, like I said、um, I lost a little bit of my memory and I don't quite remember、um, the position of、um, this 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 thing. <laughs> I would say this thing. So I'm quite slow because I'm drawing and thinking, try to memorize back back at the same time. But later、um, will be easier because、um, I will. I already got my memory back. See and、uh, fold back. And、uh, this time you can use some ink to、uh, make the sh、uh, shape. For example, here it was the black. And there's another small one, and、uh, the big one. I just、uh, leave it, and、uh, the head. Get some like small line. For example, here is.、Um, The sharp parts. Okay, and、uh, here is like the wing here. Okay, and、uh, I can't really remember where the the line. How was the direction? Is maybe you have a have a look the direction. Whether you can see some line or not, it doesn't really show. Oh, okay. Here, <clears throat> it's more clear. It's like this direction. <clears throat> this direction, okay. It's like this. This is the right direction. For example, this is、uh, this is one way. This is another way. So the direction is from here. You can see from here go there. This is、um, <clears throat> nowadays、um, when you're drawing is so convenient because、um, you can look online right away, and you don't have to draw this line. Too, but、uh, I like、um, some details. And the details make the paintings really interesting, right? And the belly there, I don't want to use ink. I want to use a darker ink. So this part. Okay, this is the mantis. Let me show you some details here. <clears throat>、uh, we have twenty minutes left. I want to、um, draw a painting to show you. Okay, let's change a、uh, paper. Changing paper and.、Uh, I'm going to draw a painting for you. And put this way.
Mm. Actually, today I want to uh, initiate one of the painting from my teacher. So this is um his painting. His name is um. His really family name is Zhou, and uh, his uh, art name is Mei Ruo. Um, probably a lot of people know him. He is a uh, really um, active Chinese Chinese brush painting instructor. He's so famous, and uh, he draw painting almost. Uh, he draw art almost every day. Very hard working person. And today I'm going to initiate one of the painting from him. This way. All right, and uh, I want to put him here. So I can see better. Let's start with uh, bamboo because uh, the bamboo is like background. It's the similar color tone. Okay, how can you see better? Probably like this way. I don't think I will use this next week to camera like this because um, it is really drag, like kind of wasting time to do this. I don't really see much benefit of this, so probably going to jump it next week. So um, the background is the bamboo. I'm going to mix a lot of green. But at the same time, um, I wanted to um, lower the tone um, because I don't want the um, mattis and uh, mantis and uh, bamboo too similar. So I'm going to lower one tone by adding the ink. And also, I need to mix enough green to finish the bamboo, right? I don't want, like, you don't want to mix color uh, in the middle of painting. It's, uh, the color won't be the same, for sure. So it's better to uh, mix enough color ahead. And because this uh, color is a little bit dried out, so um, take a little bit longer to mix it. Okay, just uh, need a little bit more white color. All right, and I'm going to use a bigger brush to draw the bamboo. I'm choosing a. This one, still a little bit too small, maybe this one. Okay, this one is perfect, big size. And, uh, draw the bamboo stalk first. Uh, before we draw, we can use the, this paper. This paper is, I just uh, trim it off from here, you can see. So I can use this one to try it. But still, I want a little bit color change. So the full brush, a little bit brownish, and a little bit of greenish, like this. Okay, it's perfect. Again, get enough brownish. And right before I paint, get some green. So from here to here, and then to here. Another thing is when the painting 
has to go outside your paper. Um, you don't go halfway. No matter is Western painting or Chinese painting, usually halfway is not very beautiful. Or the center, halfway, uh, not not start from halfway, not go out with halfway. Also here the same. So um, you could use a pa um, pencil. Usually uh, one third, one third will be nice. This part and the go out. This is halfway. Go to bottom here. So here and here, and also this is the um, this a little bit here and here. Um, okay, joints will be here. Also, the joints won't be the halfway too. This is will be uh, more nice. Um, I could go um, from bottom. I like to from the bottom to go up, but. Uh, a lot of people um, like to from the top go down. I like to go uh, this way. And uh, use a little bit darker ink. Add uh, some ink here. I'm running out of space. And uh, one. Two, three. Okay. So from here, where the joint is, they shooting out. One, two, three. Okay. And here the same, shooting out, in the uh, here. You know what, I just put in here so you can see better too. Okay. Everybody can see this now, okay? Add some pattern. Quite uh, dry. So if you have some uh, water, they will um, blend better. Okay, joints here. Okay, and uh, get some ink. Uh, no, get some leaf. Leaf is more green. Oh, from here, it's two, three, mm, how to draw the bamboo leaf? Uh, you could look my other painting video. I have a lot of. Uh, those kind of video to introduce how to draw this and you can see this one is cross this is creating another layer now Get here the joints. Also, there have a joints too. Even you know, they are quite small. They have joints. And now I'm going to draw the mantis. Mantis. I can use the lighter tone first, and then in the end when I want to emphasize some outline i can use these parts okay so mentis i use the pencil a little bit they see this they have angle here probably uh, i would say um 10 degree like this so um it's better uh use pencil to like um, just give you outline see how long and um, the mentis 
will be. So this part is the head, and this part is the back, and the back here, and uh, the belly is here this long, and uh, um, the the front leg is like this. Mm. Okay, the other one, the per and the position will be like this, and uh, this is the front leg. And uh, let's stand on the bamboo. See, see when I do the outline, I just find um, there is not enough space. Like you know, I can draw like this, make it like outside of it, so it, there will be enough for belly here. All right. And uh, I'm going to use this paper to help the bamboo dry quicker. It's better way till it's dry to painting, but right now we don't really have that time, so I'm just helping it dry out a little bit because when there you can see the watermark here, when it's wet, they they like more likely to um, blend together, so. The eyes, and uh, this is the head. There's another eye, and the uh, antenna I will leave to later. But in the front, the mouth here have a little bit something, and the, the back here, two, one, two, is two stroke. Okay, and uh, this is the um the wing here and uh, I'm going to use a lighter tone to draw the belly uh, just a uh, one stroke okay this is the belly and now I'm back to the the front leg halfway right here so one use oh one dot to join two of them so here now i can start from the top to bottom because i already know on the on the uh, sketch at the beginning i used the pencil to already you maybe can't see it but i can see the pencil mark it start from here okay the joints is important okay here into the leg here one two three and they stand on it and uh, this is another part and the back is right below it um facing to here um, see the leg here you can't really see I want to show you you can't do like this right like the knee is face facing out so this is a wrong so if you do like that you have to do like this like this is right the knee is facing out so in here um, I can't like go this way. I have to go this way. And here is the same. And uh, they all they are a little bit mixed together right now because it's green and green. So I'm going to use the ink to separate them. So um, if it's dried it will be much easier to do this and uh, it's the front and uh, mantis 
Thank you for watching today. Bye bye.